lecture 31 maxima and the minima of a function of two variable in that lecture we discuss how to find the maximum and the minimum value of the function when function having more than one variable now that we discuss the extremum value of a function or one variable or extremum of a one variable function so suppose we have a function fx has a global maxima at point c and if fc the value of a function that point is greater than equal to fx for all x belongs to a b then that fc is called maximum value of fx in that interval so suppose we have that function uh, this green curve representing a function that is says fx and we take an interval a and b then and this point c at that point c corresponding function that representing the green curve that is fc and here uh, we observe that at that point c the function has the maximum value sorry this is point c the function has the maximum value now if we check the neighborhood point of that function suppose if we take here say it's d point is e point d and e are the neighborhood point of the c and corresponding the value of that point we say f d and corresponding to that is f e so the value of the function the value of that function corresponding to these neighborhood point that is f d and f e is always lesser than than f c so by the definition says all uh, the neighborhood point along the c the f c is always greater than equal to all f x and x belongs to a b so we can say this is what this is a extremum point or in that case we say this is a maximum point of that function and similarly for the minimum value the definition says the glow f the function fx has a global minima at point c if fc is less than fx for all x belongs to the interval a b and that fc is called minimum value so you see there this is the minimum value if we take the function that is a function if we take the function this function fx so this is what this is the minimum value at that point and similarly if we take the neighborhood points is d and e so this is f e and this is f d here and you see that the f c is what is always lesser than all f e f t and the, all the neighborhood point if we take in the neighborhood point along the c for the function that function fx which is representing the red curve now here one more thing which is important here we know that if the function has an maximum value then the derivative of the function has changed the sign so if we can say if fx has the maximum value at c suppose we take the maximum value then the sign of f dash x that is the derivative of first derivative of the function changes from plus to minus and if the value of the function is a minimum at c then the sign of the first derivative of the function changes minus to plus so we can say if the left hand derivative if the left hand derivative that is this one is greater than 0 at that point c and the right hand derivative at that point c is less than 0 then function is maximum at c and if the left hand derivative of a function at that point c is less than 0 and the right hand derivative of the function at that point is greater than left hand derivative at that point less than 0 and right hand derivative is greater than 0 then function is minimum at that point c so here you have to note if the function does not change the sign in the neighborhood points of the c then function is neither maximum or minimum so always remember that 
we can also say that the extremum value of the function either it is maximum or minimum is obtained where the slope where the slope we can say slope that is the tangent is zero or parallel to the axis and please note that the maximum the minimum value here we use the word maximum the minimum value of the function on the interval a b is called the extreme value when we say the value the extreme value of the function so it can be maximum or minimum now take an example find the extremum value of a function fx is equal to we have given a function fx is equal to x square e raised to power minus x and all x is greater than equal to zero so we have to find the extreme value either it is maximum or minimum so first what we do we have given a function fx is equal to x square e is to power minus x for all x is greater than zero so here first we take the first derivative of that function df upon dx so what's the derivative of that function 2x square sorry 2x 2x e is power minus x minus x square e minus x now after simplify we can write 2x minus x square e to the power e raised to the power minus x take as common. So we substitute if we want an extreme value. So we substitute that d f by d x is equal to zero. That is slope is zero. So when we put that equation is equal to zero. So we find the two values that is this equation can be written as x 2 minus x e raised to power minus x is equal to 0 so we obtain a two points that is x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2 so here these two point is what these are called stationary points in journal now to check the optimality or the extreme value of the function we take the second derivative so differentiate again differentiate fx with respect to x so we get d2f upon dx2 that is the second derivative so second derivative what we get we get 2 minus 2x e raised to the power minus x plus 2x minus x square minus e raised to my power minus x or if you simplify we can write 2 minus 4x plus x square e raised to power minus x so this is the second derivative now we check the value of the second derivative at that point this is at x is equal to 0 the value of del to f upon dx2 that is the second derivative at 0 we get that is 2 now this is greater than 0 so we can say function fx is what minimum at x is equal to 0 now if we check at x is equal to 2 at that point in the second derivative we get at x is equal to 2 so we get minus 2 e raised to power minus 2 and the, this value is always less than 0 so we can say the function fx is maximum value at x is equal to 2 and this is what and so here we just say at x equal to 0 we get the minimum value 
and at x equal to 2 we get the maximum value but what is the maximum minimum value if we substitute that x is equal to 0 in that function so what we get at f0 we get 0 and at f2 we get 4 e raised to power minus 2 so this is the maximum value of the function at point x equal to 2 and this is the minimum value of the function at point x equal to 0 so the extreme values are 0 and 2 and the uh, we can say extreme value of the functions are 0 and 4 e raised to power 2 so in that way we find the maxima and the minimum minima of the function of one variable so take one more example find the extreme value of that function fx is equal to mod 3 minus x plus 2 plus x plus mod 5 minus x so first you have to rewrite that function so i think all of you know how to rewrite that function so we can write 6 minus 3x when if x is less than equal to minus 2 and 10 minus x if x lies between sorry minus 2 between minus 2 and 3 and 4 plus x if x lies between 3 to 5 and minus 6 plus 3 x if the function when x is greater than or equal to 5 so after resolve that function we obtain that function now we have to check the maximum value of that function so here where we have an equality sign we check on that point so we can say we have we can say we have the extremum or we can say the critical points critical points is what x is equal to we take that is minus 2 3 and 5 so on that on this critical point we have to check the extreme value of the function so first we take because it is too difficult to take the derivative so uh, there is another method we can use the left and right derivative so now first we check the for x is equal to minus 2 so what you have to do you just take the left hand derivative at minus 2 so now we write limit we can write h tends to 0 f minus 2 minus h f minus 2 and minus h so here after simplify this we get minus 3 f minus 2 minus h that is minus 2 something that is less than so we take 6 minus 3x and f minus 2 the value of f minus 2 is what f minus 2 is 12 f 3 is 7 f 5 is 9 when we take the value of f 5 we use that function and if we want the value of f 3 function at 3 so we use that function and at minus 2 we use that function now the left hand derivative at minus 2 is we get minus 3 which is less than 0 the right hand derivative of that function similarly limit h tends to 0 f minus 2 plus h f minus 2 on h you just simplify that limit so we get minus 1 which is also less than 0 so here you observe that at x equal to minus 2 the left and the right derivative at minus 2 is having the both the same sign both are negative 
so if this sign is not change at the critical point x equal to minus 2 so what we say function is neither maxima or is not maximum or minimum so you have to remember if the sign is not change the left and right so we can say the function is not maximum or minimum so we can say at critical point x equal to minus 2 function is neither maximum or minimum and similarly if we check on x is equal to 3 so again we take the left hand derivative that is at 3 it has it is become minus 1 the right hand derivative you can easily find the right hand derivative or oh, we get 1 so this is less than 0 this is greater than 0 so if the left hand derivative is left hand derivative at 3 is less than 0 and the right hand derivative at that point critical point 3 is greater than 0 so we can say f x is minimum at x equal to 3 and what is the minimum value of the function so f3 is what f3 we get 7 so 7 is the minimum value and the critical point at critical point x equal to 3 and the similar way we can find the extreme value at 5 you can check yourself you can easily check so please try at your own you check please try the value yourself at x equal to 5 check whether the value is minimum or maximum or it is not maximum or minimum so please try the value extreme value of that function at x equal to 5 you just check the right hand derivative and left hand derivative and check the sign if the sign is not changing then we can say the function is neither maximum minimum if the sign is changed so you have to check if the left hand derivative less than and right hand derivative of the function is greater than so function is minimum if it is reverse order that is the left hand derivative is greater than and right hand derivative is less than then we can say the function is maximum at that point so please you have to check at the extreme value of that function at x equal to 5 yourself thank you continue in the next lecture next lecture we discuss the maximum value for the function of two variable or more than one variable